988. It's short and easy to remember just like 911. But instead of general emergencies, 988 is for suicide and crisis intervention. It will be available to everyone in the country to call or text starting July 16th. Trained professionals will provide help from more than 200 local crisis centers around the country. Our goal is to make sure we can weave together all these states that have disparate programs. Problem is, it's, it's 50 separate yeah. parts. We don't own it, but we're trying to bring it together like the glue. In 2021, more than 2.5 million people called the 10-digit 1-800 number 988 is replacing. That's the highest number since the hotline began in 2005. But success over the long term will be dependent on cooperation between states and the federal government. HHS is pouring more than $280 million this year into the transition. That includes money for network operations, telephone infrastructure, and staffing at local crisis call centers. But a survey of local health officials by Rand Corporation found only 16 percent said their agency budgeted for the transition and long-term funding of 988. In addition, Congress is allowing states to add a fee to cell phone bills for funding, but so far, only four states have done that. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.